Hello and welcome in the second video of the Robin tutorial series. In this video we are going to install and set up everything we need in order to be able to execute Robin on our computer and build our first marketing mix modeling project. So uh, we are starting on the um, Robin's documentation page and as you can see here it's necessary to have R 4.0.5 version or higher. R is simply our uh, le uh, programming language which we are going to execute Robin in. And the first thing to do is, uh, in fact, uh, install R. Uh, all the links you will see in the video, you can find them in the description below. So it's really easy to, to replicate everything. And starting from R, uh, you have to choose your um, operating system, of course. I go for the Mac OS. And then you have to, um, to pick the right uh, distribution. So in case you are running on an Intel, um, an Intel Mac, you can go for the R4.1.2 package without ARM in the name. Otherwise, if you are on, a, on a, an M1 Apple Silicon uh, processor, you can go for the ARM64. I go for this one, and as you can see down here, we have downloaded our package file, which we can see in download folder. Double click on it and move it to the, this other one. And then you can just continue. This is uh, important information, license, uh, we can go on, accept the license and the destination, you can choose the destination if you want to change that or otherwise uh, just leave it as a default on your main hard disk. And, uh, and then you click on install. I won't do this as I already have R installed, but after this you'll be good to go and R will be installed. Next thing we need after R is our IDE or basically our um, editor of choice where we're going to uh, modify the code, execute everything and it's RStudio. RStudio is free as well so you can go simply on products, RStudio, then down here RStudio desktop, go here on download RStudio desktop and then move to the fr free version which is completely fine for our needs. And you can either choose the one that's already set for you, so you can see Download our Studio from Mac, or uh, you can choose the different distributions down here. Uh, I'll go for this one, which is going to download the image file. And again, double click, and this is going to be really easy because you will only need to, to drag it in applications. Again, I already have this, so I'm not gonna do this. And after that, we can already launch our RStudio. And the first thing, first time we are going to open RStudio, it's going to be somewhat like this. So besides this window, uh, you'll simply have a um, console over here where you can actually uh, execute uh, any kind of uh, uh, commands. And on the right side, you're going to have your variables. I'll, go, I'll clean this so that we can start fresh. Okay, now that we are here, the first thing we can do is go for the step-by-step -step demo. And as you can see, Robin has already, does already provide a demo script, which you can use to, ex to exercise and test Robin out. So we're going to get this demo.r file. And over here, we can copy everything move back to our studio, go for file, new file, our script, and simply pass all the code. So we won't go in deep about uh, the code in this video. We will see everything in the next one and we will uh, uh, execute everything in the next one. For now, we will simply focus on installing Robin libraries. So uh, I'll show you a couple commands that you need to execute only the first time because uh, as you can see here, so uh, if, in case you are, you are not familiar with programming in general or R in particular, every line you see starting with an hashtag, it's just a comment. So it's not actually a line of code that needs to be executed, but it's a comment. So take it as, it, as a note. Maybe the, another developer is leaving a note or you are leaving a note for yourself to uh, explain better where, what a line uh, does. So, all this stuff you see starting with an hashtag and actually colored green, that's not uh, code that is going to be executed, but it just comments. 
The code really starts here in this case, and you can see the first uh, uh, the first line is library Robin. This tells uh, R to import Robin so that then we can actually use all of its features and functions and uh, do our marketing mix modeling. But the first time you won't have Robin installed. So the first thing you need to do is execute this line of code, uh, install packages. So we can do it in two ways. I'll show you. Uh, the first one is actually uh, selecting the, the command, copying it, then moving down to the console. You can pass here and press enter. This is one way to execute uh, commands or in general code here in RStudio. Uh, otherwise, what you can do is highlight the code you want to, to execute and then click on run on the top right. This is exactly the same. There's no difference in how you execute this. So uh, this first command is something that it's built in R and is basically just downloading and installing this package, this library, which is called remotes. This will allow us to install Robin directly from GitHub. In fact, we are going to get this, uh, this other piece of code, which is commented as well, and we are going to run this. Uh, as you can see, it's skipping since already uh, since I have already installed, so has not changed since the last install. Uh, of course, you're going to, to have it installed when you first launch this command. And the important thing is that you need to do this only the very first time you execute Robin. After you have already everything installed, uh, all the other times you are going to execute Robin, you simply have to run library Robin. And as you can see here, if it prints nothing and you, you know, I, I have a new line here, uh, it means that uh, uh, it succeeded in importing Robin. Another thing that's really important here to set up is Nevergrad. If you remember in the past video, we talked about Nevergrad, which is another uh, Python library, actually, not R, but Python, which Robin uses in order to optimize the other parameters automatically. Nevergrad, as I just said, is only available in Python, so we need to, to be able to use Nevergrad in R. And to do, that, to do that, we have two different kind of uh, approaches. We can either use the reticulate library and install Nevergrad via pip, or uh, choose to opt in to, to use Anaconda, which is another software we can download from anaconda.com. But in this tutorial, we are going to see uh, the first option, so using pip and reticulate. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do here is actually install reticulate, and we can use the same exact command as here, besides the fact that we are going to uh, write down here and then change remotes to reticulate. Execute this one, uh, we're going to yes because it's going to update the packages. So everything is installed, then we can go back here. We can actually uncomment this line of codes so we see them better. And the first thing you're going to do after uh, downloading is actually importing, sorry, I was forgetting this one. And now uh, what we need to do is create a virtual environment. The virtual environment will allow us to have both Python and R running together at the same time. This way, from our R Studio, we will be able to execute Nevergrad, which will be run in this virtual environment through Python. Uh, this is not something we really need to, to care about as it does everything for us. Uh, the important thing is actually creating and using the virtual environment. So the first command is virtual env virtual create. R R reticulate is just uh, a name. You can change it to hello world. Uh, or, or whatever. It's important, of course, that you use the same name uh, when you create it, when you use it, and, and such. And anyway, we are going to create this virtual environment using the um, R reticulate name. As you can see, this is just telling that it was created. It's called R reticulate. And then we are going to use the virtual environment. This tells our studio, okay, not only create the environment, but actually um, activate it, use it. So uh, again, we are going to execute this line of code. As you can see, whenever the, um, there is no output on the console, you can basically uh, tell that 
the command is executed and is working fine with no problems. And then you're going to launch to launch the uh, py install nevergrad with pip equals true, which basically tells, uh, tells our studio to install nevergrad using pip. And um, we can execute this one as well. And this is going to do some stuff and we'll get back once it's done. Okay, so uh, fast forward to Nevergrad, which has finished installing. And one thing to, to note, which is important to, to remember, is that the installation of Nevergrad needs to be done the first time only as well. One thing that you need to remember, however, the next time you're going to use Robin after you have done the virtual amp create and the py install Nevergrad, is to always do these two commands. So let's command this back comment this back and then this. These two commands need to be executed every time because this way you're going to import reticulate library which is, will allow you to actually use the virtual environment and then you will need to use the virtual environment in which Nevergrad is installed. You can use these two only and you will be good to go for the next times you're going to, to use Nevergrad. In case you will have any problems with the installations you can try uh, forcing the, um, the Python path because sometimes what happens with Reticulate in particular is that it doesn't find the right uh, Python version in your computer so you may have to, to force it to, to the path of your Python this can change uh, uh, from computer to computer but in general you have here commented uh, another line of code which may help you in case Nevergrad can't be installed. Then after forcing it using the set env, reticulated python, etc, etc, as you can see here, it's recommended to reset your art session and reinstall Nevergrad using the, this first option. If you want to reset the session, it's really simple. You can go up here on session and then restart there. Sorry, uh, as you can see below, the, um, the session has restarted whenever you can type new things down here. Another thing that may really help you in case you have any troubles here in installing and configuring everything is taking a look at the um, uh, at the, the Robin GitHub. In fact, uh, if you go in the issue section, you can see open issues, which typically are issues yet to be resolved and you can go on closed ones as well. So maybe you have a specific error showing on your console while stalling. You can just go here and try to copy your error, then press enter and you can find all people that may have had your same error before and maybe that's already solved or maybe not and you can anyway find uh, some sort of help. And there is the, the best place to actually get uh, uh, technical support, as well as the Facebook Robin, um, Facebook group, sorry for the double Facebook. Uh, but yeah, the, the Facebook group is cool, but it's really more to, uh, to maybe have uh, questions about how everything is working and such for technical issues uh, like uh, configuration errors that you are getting in the console and stuff like that. It's recommended to go for the GitHub channel. So now we have everything installed, set up and ready to use. The next step is to go through the code, see um, a demo data set we can use and basically start modeling, start the, the modeling phase. But we will do that in the next video. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.